So what he is saying is that when you are saving, you let this one cross this line into half the top, sure. uh, the, the top fabric, just like half inch. And move this here. Okay. Mm, okay. Because we measure the armhole 10 inches. Mm -hmm. So we make sure the hand to be um, 10 okay. inches. Okay. So we measure from from this side to here 3 inches. Okay. And you use your ruler to join. How much do you think in a month at least someone stands to gain? Not you per se, but someone stands to, gain, stands to gain in this business if they are doing the right things. Okay. Not less than 2000 In a month? Sure. Wow. Alright, everyone, once again, you are welcome on Solid Proven. I'm here today again in the same shop. This is two times in a row. So in this shop, there's so many knowledge to tap. Here, I'm with the main master of Appears Clothing. You know how I do my thing. I talk to seamstresses and apprentices and masters in their shops. They share their experience and their knowledge they have acquired over the years with those who are interested to listen and learn. All right. So I'm here with Master Appear, and I will ask him what he wants to show us today let me go to master up here and have a bit of chat all right sir uh good morning morning please how are you i'm fine thank you and you i'm very fine uh, please our uh, viewers are waiting on you today okay. what do you have for us what's your name um, i'm mr appear appear yeah. i understand this is your shop you are the the ceo of appears clothing appears clothing sure all uh, right so our man here is not a small guy at all he is the ceo of appears clothing sure. so uh, mr ceo what do you have for us today um i'm about to cut shirt shirt and, uh, long sleeves with calf with calf okay so appear mr master appear is going to show us how to cut a full body shirt with sleeves many of you have been asking me to show you how to cut sleeves because i did a video about shirt cutting but the sleeves was just done with uh, cardboard and you, you many of you didn't really get it so i'm here to do a second video about the full body uh shirt cutting and the sleeves with the ammo and everything intact with a long sleeve and cough so stay don't go and we are going to learn stick and stay i'm about to cut the um, shirt so this is the measurement chest 46 across back 19 shirt length 24 sleeves 24 the shirt length is 34 is 34 mm -hmm. and the sleeves is 24 mm -hmm calf is 10 and around arm 10 stroke 16 okay so, yeah. okay so the around arm uh, is 10 and then S uh, and 16 16 yeah so the 10 is for the around for arm the, for the uh, yeah from for the, the shoulder to the, shoulder the upper to arm. The upper arm okay that's 10 i've already shown you the measurement so you will fold one side half side of the material Mm. you fold it and you iron it so that it will be smooth uh. <laughs> first of all let me straight here before So you take the length. So the length is 34. 34. Uh, so you I do. You measure your 34 and you add two inches. That's the um, allowance. 
Yeah. The food allowance. Yeah. Okay. So the 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 right measurement is um, 34. 34 and you add two, two so and go here the same thing okay so you use your ruler to join So you take your measurement, you, you measure it again from here to this 36, uh, 34 plus the additional two. Okay. So, and you go here, you reduce it from here to 3 inches. Okay. So that, yeah. that, that's for what? The 3 inches is for what? It's for the shoulder. Shoulder slope. So you need to slant it. Yes, slant it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we call that side so, uh, shoulder. Slack. Yes. So that's slow. Yes. So you use your ruler. Okay. And you join. So you realize his, st his style is also very different from mine. So that is why so improving is very important because different masters come to demonstrate their abilities and knowledge. And you get the differences. So you go through and pick bits of knowledge from each master and join them together for your own work. Okay. So, Master Pia, let's continue. And um, chest is 40, uh, 46, right? Yeah, the chest is 46. Mm -hmm. You divide it into four. Okay. So, 46 into four. Into four. Mm. That will give you, and you know, 11, 11 and a half. 11 and a half, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I've already divided it into four. So, 13 and a half. You get it. Um, so, 11 and a half. Yes, it was 11 and a half. half. Two inches. Okay. That's the other ones. Alright. So that will be 13, 13 and a half. half. Okay. So I'll take my scissors. And so don't forget to follow on Facebook, Share with Corbin, and subscribe on YouTube. The same so with Corbin. If you have any comments or you need a video tutorial that we have, we have to do for you, okay. put it under the comment and Master Appear, I will come back to him for him to respond. If you are also interested in being an apprentice under Master Appear, take his number on the screen and just call him. He will talk to you and you make your deal. And you put the material again. If you are also interested in seeing me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm very close to Master Appear's shop. So when you are in Master Appear's shop, I can be coming there to also teach you one or two things that I know over time. Okay. And you take the first one. Okay, you use iron to iron it so that... Okay, so now one thing you must take note is that sewing is all about ironing. No matter how good you are as a, as a tailor or a designer, if you don't love an iron, then you don't love sewing. Alright, so don't forget ironing at all. Don't even make that mistake of thinking of it. Alright, so you are going to lay the so this, this is the, the top fabric. The top fabric, yeah. Uh, I mean the front. The front, yes. Okay. And you put the front on it. Okay. So for you, you don't need to measure it again. You just you just have to take it out. Yes, you just cut it off. And you add, you add four inches. You add how many 
which is four inches. At the bottom? Uh, yeah, at the bottom. Uh, you put the uh, front. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, what he is trying to mean is that, you see, after sewing your shirt, you pull the front part of the shirt to be equal to the the down the, uh, the base of the back like this all right and the shoulders of the back finish cutting. will come maybe, will come and be on it like this mm -hmm. I, I hope you've seen it in people's shirt so that's what he's trying to do over here all right so you must appear sure now do your thing okay so any any after you done it, um, you cut it. Okay, so you are cutting out? Sure. You can see Master Pierre really loves ironing. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that you must learn. So now, I'm coming to measure the neck. The round neck. So, you put two and a half inch. You take your two and a half inch. That will be three inches. Okay. Normally we use three inches, but most of the times you get more much complaint. Okay. Uh, yeah, about the, the next is too big. Yeah, and uh, the same as the shoe. Yes, yeah. Okay. So. So we will um, use it. Yes, that's also one thing you must check. You can't sew shirt for me and then my singlet is showing. Uh, if I'm not, I'm not confident about my singlet, then you're disgracing me in public. Sure. So you have to. That's why I posted once on my page that the best thing to do is sew for yourself what you sew for your customers. So that you know the thoughts on your your designs and you correct it. So Master Apia is saying that per complaint from customers, instead of making this side three inches, he has, he said this side right, was three, yeah. it used to be. Okay, so he has now reduced it to two and a half. Yeah. Okay. And then from here to this side is three inches. Three inches. Alright. So is that the, the measurement that you use for every, everyone? Sure. No matter how big you are. Mm. For some time you can okay, increase it. Yeah, you can increase it into uh, three. Where the person is very fat. Mm. Yes. Sure. Okay. So you look at your but customer. You and you massage our measurements to favor your customer. Where is the measurement that you are cutting out here? Oh, it, it's... Okay, so it looks like mm -hmm. three quarters. This is how the, the, the... You don't need to measure it, so... Because you pull it before okay. you... Uh -huh. But for those who didn't know the rest, like... Uh -huh. For the beginners, okay. it's just about three inch, uh, three quarters. Okay. Uh, that's one inch that you have divided into, so you put uh, three to be equal. Okay, so now you pull it. Sure. Okay. So you can see he has now pulled it. Joints a uh, half inch, so you you put it on it half inch, and you iron. Okay, so so half inch. So you, you see this one to be like half inch mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what he is saying is that when you are folding, you let this one cross this line into half the top, sure. uh, the, the top fabric, just like half inch. Sure. Uh -huh. 
And you will move this here. Okay. Mm, okay. So you can see how he did it. All right, that's the skill. So now I'm about to ship. Okay. So Master Pierre was feeling uncomfortable cutting his fabric from this side because of uh, his strong hand. He is a, a right. He has a right strong hand. All right. So he had to turn the fabric. So if you've seen any change, then that's the account I'm giving you. Okay, so Master Pierre, please continue. So the back, across back, is 19. So you cut it, you add, you measure your 19, you divide it into 4. Divide it into 4? No, into 2. Into 2. Okay. Uh, you divide it into 2, so 9 and a half. 9 and a half plus 9 and a half is 19. Alright, uh, so, so you add your and quarter inch. Okay. Well, three quarters. Three quarters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Three quarters, yeah. Three quarters. And from here, shoulder to arm. To be, let's take it like 10. Shoulder to arm is 10. Yeah, so you measure from this top to sure. there. Okay. And you. So uh, uh, this one is for adults. Sure. That's the person is a child. You measure like that. Um, it depends the measurement. So you can make it um, seven. Seven. Um, um, eight, six. It depends. Okay. So you check the age of your customer and you increase or decrease no. accordingly. And you draw your angle. Okay. So you measure the. Bust chest, right? Chest. Mm -hmm. So the chest is forty-six. So forty-six divided by four. Divided by four. That's eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. Now because of the sewing, you add one third. You measure from shoulder to most of customers like sheep. They like sheep. Yeah. From uh, you measure from shoulder to stomach, nineteen inches. You take your ruler and you make a straight line. So the chest is <clears throat> eleven and a half. So the stomach will be little bit eleven. Okay, so the chest is eleven and a half. So uh, just remove the half from it. Sure. And make the stomach eleven so that sure. you get the shape. The shape. Okay. So not too much shape, but when and you join it. Okay. And um, you too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So um I realized that from the chest to the stomach, yeah. we removed half inch mm -hmm. from the chest measurement. So the chest was eleven and a half. Yeah. And then we put one and one and, uh, one, okay. one and quarter. Yeah. On it, and then you get twelve um no, you got ten to me and quarter. Two. Twelve and quarter. Twelve and quarter. Okay. Twelve and quarter. Okay. Twelve and quarter. Yeah. So that means you put three quarters on here. Yeah, yeah three quarters here. Yeah. Three quarters. Sure. Okay. So you move half inch. Sure. Please put this in the middle of the 
Okay, so that means here we moved about mm. one inch. One inch, so let's see. Okay, so mm. all right, so he will move like one inch, one inch here. from the stomach. Sure. All right, so uh, here is 12. 12. And then here, here is, no, here is 11 and a half, and here is 12 and a half. So that becomes one inch. So he length from the chest to the stomach. And then he is lengthen from the stomach to the head. To the head. Now when I asked him, uh, Master Apia is not really comfortable. You see, we, we people can really express themselves in their local language. So you let me understand that. Here in the olden days, when we didn't really saw any proper designs, all right, we were just interested in the wear the shirt. But today we saw to fit. Therefore, we were used to just sew the size straight anyhow. But today they give a bit of shape from the stomach to the hip, so that when you sew the side folds, uh, the folds that we do at the side of the kaftan. You won't do it in a way that it will be fitting or it will be squeezing the person's buttocks. You, you get it? Mm. So that's why he's giving us much of a slope here, which is about almost like one, one and a half or getting to two inches. Ha. So that's the explanation for that side. Okay. So, so I have to cut it off. So he's now cutting. Alright, so the style of cutting is very different from mine, so you can learn from the two. Alright, so when you learn from many masters, you become a superb master yourself. So give us the shop is by the roadside, so there are many disturbances around. Okay, so you can see the shape already. Mm. It's almost looks like a woman's shirt. Sure. So some of you that you tell me uh it's women. Now the address you are supposed to put shape. Please, it's a lie. Damn. It's a lie. Man dress also has shape. Alright. So how many are sorry? By this time, we are not only leaving the shape for you alone. <laughs> we are taking it too. <laughs> I'm done with the body. Okay, so he's done with the body now. So I'm coming to cut the sleeves, long sleeves. You fold it into four. Okay. And divide it into four. So. All right. So as you saying, the sleeve is folded into four. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your sleeve measurement, your length was twenty-four inches. Yeah. And your long arm was sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, so now what we are looking out for is how he will put the measurements on the fabric and turn it into a sleeve. Very straight here. And you cut it off. Uh, the sleeve is 24. So you so you take um three and a half out of twenty-four. That's the calf. Right? That's the calf. So you measure it twenty. So and um, it will left twenty and a half. Okay. So you add one inch. To it. So you sew a half inch and half inch top here and then the down there. The down there yeah. Okay, so he's saying that you see the, the sleeve length is uh, the sleeve itself plus the cuff that's 24. And then he sews his cuff that's uh, three and a half inches. So he takes the cuff measurement out of the full sleeve measurement and then he'll be remained with uh, or he'll be left with 21, uh, 20 and a half. Right, 
and then he has added one inch seam allowance so half inch will be shown at the shoulders at the sleeve and half will be shown at where shown will be shown at where the cuff will be attached okay so the here will be uh, the around arm we measure it nine inch nine nine but okay Right, so the arm, arm, and that's the upper arm measurement. Sure. So you said the length is nine inches. Nine. Okay. Okay, now. Okay. okay, because we measure the arm hole ten inches. Mm -hmm. So we make sure the hand to be um ten okay. inches. Okay. So we measure from from this side to here three inches. Okay. And you use your ruler to join. So you draw it. Let me give you a zoom out. And you draw it. And you measure the around arm to 16, right? Okay, you can make it 18. And the rest and the rest is okay. Let's make it twelve and a half. You take your ruler and you join. Okay, I see you have to do the other side. Yeah. Okay, can you explain? Um, I just want to, I just want to make sure it's actually the same. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, that's, that's why I have to reduce it. Okay. So I will cut it. I'm coming to do my flap, so okay. measure it two and a half. Two and a half. Alright, so, what, so what he is talking about is the the cuff placket. Sure. Uh -huh, the cuff placket. Sure. So I'll join it. So and measure two and a half. So from here to here is two and a half. Here to two and a half. And here is two and a half. Sure. And okay. Measure it. Three and a half. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So that's three and a half. Yes. So, okay. so this thing that you done here means that you cut and slip. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you not pick the first oh, the end. You only cut two. Two. So please take notice. He's not going to cut the figure if, if he doesn't end anything. Then you can just open up one. And you. Or you can even. Hold on. You can even do like this. If you don't want an issue, you can just open like this. Sure. Uh, so that you don't go and cut all your fabric. Sure. You can cut it. Half inch. You cut okay. it half inch. And you cut it half inch. Alright. And you, you I'm learning a lot today. Is the wrong wrong place? That's the wrong place. Uh, the marking is to show the the wrong side of the fabric. That should go inside where the person has worn the set. So and the other people that will mark is to come out so people will see. This is the, the floor the fabric is. Okay. This is the flap that we are going to use. Okay. For the um this side, for the side. I see you measure it like one one 
one and three quarter one third. Okay. Mm, so one and three quarters sure. That will be the normal measurement for. Measure the length. The length will be seven. Will be okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. One third. One third. Sure. You separate it. So we are just separated them. So our time there. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay. Now I'm coming to cut the uh, calf. Mm -hmm. So you you measure it you you fold it like this, okay, mm -hmm. and you measure it nine inches. Yeah, nine inches will be okay. Okay, and you take your iron and you iron it to it, and you fold. You fold it. So to make four steps. Okay, one two three. Four. Mm -hmm. Can you measure it and see? Yeah, four and a half. Four. Okay. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. So you straight it so that. Okay, so you open down to check that all the fabrics are the line will pass on all the fabrics. Sure. Okay. And you cut it off. So make a screw line there. So you measure because of the cap is 10 inches, so you cut it like 12. Okay, so you have two inches allowance. Sure. That's one inch on each side. Sure. Okay. So now, and you, you open it, and you cut it into two. Okay. Yeah. So this is one side. One side of uh, with the calf wear. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so I've, I'm done with the fabric. So I'll pick my stiff. This is stiff for the um for the calf the calf yeah. what kind of stuff is it um, extra, extra hard, hard. hard. okay yeah. this extra hard so you measure it you take your pen you take your pen And you straight that's the and you measure yes it's not straight so So, 
you measure it. This time we need the correct measurement. So ten. The calf is ten, so ten. That is the three and a half inch. We measure a three and a half inch. So we use the same measurement to cut the other one. After you done it, then you And you measure from here to two, so it will be four inches. And from here to two and a half, two and a half, and so one, one, one inch, one inch, inch here. Yeah. Okay. Um, cut it off. All right. So you get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you open this? Um, show it to the camera. Yeah. Wait. Yes. Wait, wait, I'm coming. Let me straight it. Wait a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen this curve. Sure. Right. And it left the yolk for the body. Okay. The back yolk. So now, I've, yeah. So I've, I'm done with the how uh, a complete body. It left the yolk. I'm come to cut the yolk. Yolk. Mm -hmm. So I fold it. So those who don't know what the yolk is, the yolk is that uh, piece of fabric that you see at the back. The back of the shirt uh, is to prevent direct sunlight from hitting the skin. Only when you are passing through the sun. Sure. Uh, That's right. So normally the measurement is eight. So you, you measure eight inches. After you measure it, then you put the back. The measurement you mean the length? Yeah, the okay. length. And put the back on it. Yeah, I'm done. Alright, so you can see you only put the top 
on the back fabric on the wood fabric and just cut everything out. So that's the look. And you this the okay. Nicely done. Sure. Beautiful. This is a superb master. Mm -hmm. Alright. 